Thank you, everybody, uh, for your time. Uh, the committee welcomed the willingness of the applicant to address concerns raised by residents and the committee uh, in terms of actions that they proposed. Uh, the decision of the subcommittee is to grant the application uh, with the following conditions. Uh, the premises license shall be issued for the sale of alcohol on the premises. The premises timing for the sale of alcohol, uh, which, are, which is on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, will be from 1,700 hours to 22.30 hours, 10.30 p.m., and the premises shall close at 2,300, 11 p.m. There will be a Challenge 25 policy operating on the premises. Challenge 25 means that the holder of the premises license shall ensure that every individual who visually appears to be under 25 years of age and is seeking to be purchased or supplied with alcohol at the premises or from the premises mm, that's twice, shall produce identification provided that the individual to be 18 years of age or older. Uh, any deliveries to the premises and emptying of glass goods shall not be undertaken between the hours of 20 hundred hours and 8. So it's 8 to 8. An incident log shall be kept with records of all refusal of sale of alcohol, any complaints and incidents regarding crime, disorder and nuisance, any authorization to staff for the sale of alcohol, any visits from the local authority, all instances when the CCTV is not in full working order. The premises license holder shall ensure that the incident log is checked, signed and dated on a weekly basis by himself or an authorised employee acting in the place of the DPS. The incident log will be held and maintained at the premises and will be available for immediate inspection of immediately upon a request of the Metropolitan Police Services or any responsible authority. The premises shall install a CCTV system prior to opening the premises of business. You have one in place. The, CTC, the CCTV system shall be maintained in good working order, covering all public areas of the licensed premises, including all public entry and exit points and immediate vicinity of the premises. The CCTV shall be capable of recording a clear facial identification of all persons entering the premises by the main entrance store. The CCTV monitor shall be provided at the bar, which has the capability to show images of all the cameras for the information of bar staff. The CCTV camera shall continue to record while the premises are open to the public and recording shall be kept available and unedited for a minimum of 31 days. A staff member who is conversant, conservant, no, conversant with the operation of the CCTV system shall be present on the premises at all times when they are open to the public and must be able to produce, download, burn, CCTV images upon request by a police officer or any authorised officer of the London Borough of Hinden. Any footage must be in a format that can be played back on a standard personal computer or a standard DVD player. An incident log shall be maintained to record all instances when the CCTV is not in full good working order. The log will record the date, the malfaction that was noted, the date the repair work was requested and the date that the repair work was carried out. No sale of alcohol shall take place when the CCTV system is not in good working order. A noise, a noise limiting device approved by the council shall be installed on the premises. Suitable SIA staff shall be present on the premises at all time when alcohol is available per purchase. Right of appeal. The relevant applicant for the premises license or any other person who made relevant representations for the application may appeal against the council's decision to the justice clerk at the Uxbridge Magistrate Court. Such an appeal may be brought within 21 days of the receipt of this notice of decision. No decision made by the council will have effect in a time period within which an appeal may be brought and until such time an appeal may be determined or abandoned. And finally, the subcommittee advises as a comfort to residents and a warning to license holders that a license may be reviewed and could potentially be revoked if license conditions are not adhered to and also the premises are managed in a manner which does not hold, uphold the license objectives. That's the end of the hearing. Thank you.